complex numbers take on the form a plus bi. And in this form, a is called, is called the real part, and b is called the imaginary part. So the imaginary part is the piece that's connected to the I, and the real part is just A. Now, all of the numbers that you've dealt with in your normal existence, they've been complex numbers. But up to this point, you've had an imaginary part of zero, so you've only seen the real part. All right, so an example of a complex number would be something like three plus five I. You've got a real part, you have an imaginary part, and together they form that complex number. Now, when we have real numbers, we can just graph those guys on a number line, right? What about complex numbers? Well, use that number line as an x-axis, and then draw something very similar to a y-axis here, and this is where you're going to do uh, the imaginary part. So if you ever have to plot or graph an uh, a complex number, you use this complex plane where you have the real axis and the imaginary axis. So something like 3 plus 5i is going to be plotted 3 units in the real direction and 5 units in the imaginary direction. So this is the number 3 plus 5i. And with this number, you could talk about, you know, how, how big is this number, which would just mean the distance from the origin uh, to that. Uh, but that's a little more than what we're getting into for this class. If you go in to take trig or precal, you're going to see a lot more examples uh, with complex numbers on the complex plane and finding uh, the, the magnitude, also finding square roots. Like, you can find roots of complex numbers. But, again, that's not for us in this class. All right, so let me make it very simple. In order to add, to add complex numbers, combine like terms. There does not need to be a formula for this. To add complex numbers, combine like terms. For example, If we take 3 plus 5i plus 7 minus 2i, all you have to do is combine the real parts, combine the imaginary parts, and you're going to be done. So here, you combine the real stuff, so 3 and 7 is 10. Combine the imaginary pieces, positive 5, negative 2 gives you positive 3i. And, and that's it. You can't combine the 10 and the 3i, so it stays just like this. So I hope that when you get to the homework, you go, oh, this is nice and easy. I'm so glad you gave us this. You're welcome. All right, so if I have negative 6 minus 5i plus 2 minus 9i, well, we do the same thing as before. We just combine like terms because this is addition. So we have negative 6 plus 2, that's negative 4. Negative 5i minus 9i gives me negative 14i. Again, that's it. You just combine like terms. You can even treat the i like the variable x, right? It has the same kind of properties with it. So if we think about it that way, I think we should be doing quite well here. Now, what if we have to subtract? If we remember that subtraction is just a form of addition, and we just have to rewrite it, I think we're going to be okay. So let's take 4 plus 7i minus 10 minus 4i. So you've got this negative here, and what we want to do is to take this negative and distribute. Don't leave things in the parentheses here because it's going to throw us off. Go ahead and distribute and rewrite this problem. So we just have 4 plus 7i here. Distribute this negative so that it gives me negative 10 
negative times negative 4i is positive 4i. So now that we don't have that subtraction problem anymore, it's just a matter of combining like terms. So combine the real parts. 4 minus 10 is negative 6. Positive 7i, positive 4i is a positive 11i. And once again, we're done. Don't make these problems more complicated. These are some of the easiest guys that you're going to see the entire semester. I'm not saying there won't be other easy problems, but I mean, take it where you can get it, right? All right, let's look at negative 5 plus 4i minus the quantity negative 12 plus 3i minus the quantity 10 plus 19i. All right, so we see we have a couple of subtraction pieces going on here. So I'm going to use red here for the first one to distribute the negative. All right, so I'm just going to rewrite this stuff without the parentheses. So negative 5 plus 4i. Distributing the negative, that becomes positive 12 minus 3i. And then let's use, I'm going to use green here to distribute this last negative. And that gives me negative 10 and minus 19i. And so now it's just a matter of combining like terms. You have more terms that you need to combine, but the process is still the same. So negative 5 and 12 is 7. Positive 7 and negative 10 is negative 3. Now for the i's. Positive 4i minus 3i is positive 1i. Positive 1 minus 19 is minus 18i. No formulas are needed. Make sure that you distribute your, your negative. Watch your signs and combine like terms.